Hey, it's Caleb. Welcome back. So today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be um, tilling, weeding, and planting strawberries in my section of the garden. So you see this line right here? Th this whole square is my section of the garden. That section is my mom's. So let's get started. So, as you see, in the fall, we put some leaves as some mulch, but now we need to get this dumb moss stuff off and weeds, every gardener's least favorite thing. So let me show you how to easily remove um, moss. So you have your shovel, you cut in almost like a knife, and then you like scrape the moss away. And you toss it into your bucket. I started tilling because we got most of the weeds out and this is what you want to do first. You take your um, pitchfork or whatever you use and you just go step it in a bit. Then you uh, twist it over. Then you do that. And when you're done, you grab your actual tiller and you start going like to get that nice dirt you want. So this is what you do want to see. You see this right here? A worm. If you see a worm, that means your garden is nice and rich in nutrients and it'll be a good year. There he is. Now we just, ooh, this is a, um, a bit fatter worm right here. And right there is its saddle. That's what I'm pretty sure it's called. But now they're both down in that hole. And now let's turn it over. And hey, look, a zip tie. And it hasn't even been tied. <laughs> let's save this. So let me explain to you what these are and what we're gonna be doing with them. So first, what are we gonna be doing with them? We are gonna be sprinkling this worm dew and this healthy garden fertilizer in the garden to make it nutrient filled. Oh, and by the way, we saw a lot of worms. So let's first talk about this fertilizer. This fertilizer just helps the garden, adds the basic nutrition that it needs, and worm dew, my favorite. It's basically worm poo. Yeah, you put it in the garden, surprisingly it's really healthy for the garden. If you don't wanna buy this stuff, just buy a bunch of worms and make them poop in your garden. So that's basically what this stuff is. to wait for our strawberry roots but they are all star all star strawberries june bearing it's just what this little tag thing says and you guys probably want to see a bare root let me get this is a bare root see it nice and we have to rehydrate them like this just plop them in the water Probably just give them a little push down so the roots get in. And we just do that with all of them. Now they're all in there and just have to wait like 30 minutes to let the moisture soak in. Then planting. They've soaked for about 30 minutes, so now let's plant them. So the first most important thing is like 
spreading out the roots. You have to do that. And make sure this part called the crown stays above the ground. Otherwise it'll get um, crown rot. So it looks like the crown is still above, and now we'll do that well, one, two, seven more times. That's how you do it. Now that we planted them, now that we planted them, they'll start um, probably bearing fruit next year might grow up a bit this year so like and subscribe